are looking at us. Rather than raise up a generation that is anxious and fearful, the Father has ordained our children to be overcomers. He's ordained that the spirit of fear would be afraid of Christ within our children. He's ordained it. He's, um, rather than be seduced and intimidated and overcome by the things of this world, God has ordained for our children to be overcome with hunger for more of Him. Moms and dads, the fear of the Lord rescues our children. The fear of the Lord puts their focus on the one who loves them. The fear of the Lord overwhelms them with a sense of his greatness and evokes from them reverence for his ways. Jesus wants to become the focus of our children's attention and affection. He wants them to be captivated by his love and to completely trust him. Moms and dads, you have been invited to enter into the fear of the Lord and then to walk it out before your children so that this adoration may be instilled in them. Yes. My husband Steve and I, we really believe that this is a bold generation that's coming up behind us. But you know, that's a double-edged sword. They're either bold regarding the things of this world and the lies of the enemy, or they are bold for the things of God and the truth that's in his word. In January 2006, it was prophesied over our Harvest Time children. And I repeat this often, but it's important to keep it in front of us. The supernatural will become a normal part of your children's lives. A young generation of lions and lionesses are being uncaged. It's this generation that God is about to cause there to be supernatural downloads, so activate them. In order for our children to take their place in their generation as bold, spiritual lions and lionesses, they need the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord res rescues them, but it also empowers them. So this evening, let's agree in prayer for our children because they belong to the Lord. Can we stand together? And as I'm praying, I just encourage you to call out your children's names. Call out your nieces and your nephews and your grandchildren. Call out those who have maybe strayed from the Lord, that they would come back into the fold. And let's agree together. Hallelujah. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, which reminds us to walk in your ways and to love you and to surrender to you and to obey you. Father God, as moms and dads, we bring ourselves first before you and we ask you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for any areas in our lives where we are not walking in the fear of the Lord. Forgive us for any areas where we've grown complacent and have allowed ourselves and our children to develop an appetite for the things of this world. And we ask, Lord, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we and our children would develop an appetite for holiness, that we would hunger for more of you, and that we would embrace the fear of the Lord, that the fear of the Lord would reign in our homes. And this evening we declare, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. You are holy, God. And because you are holy, it is our desire to be holy, to be like you. It is our desire for our homes to be a holy dwelling place for the presence of the Lord. And we prophesy that our children, they are a holy generation. They are a set apart, chosen generation. They are a royal priesthood. We prophesy that they will declare the praises of him who have called them out of darkness and into his marvelous light. And we declare that they are a generation that fears the Lord. They are a counter-cultural generation. And as Noah, they will walk in holiness. They will be different than the world because they are a peculiar generation. Father God, we agree with your word that calls our children to surrender, to trust, to obey, and to stand firm. And we invite the fear of the Lord in our homes that our families will be holy and set apart. We declare that our children are captivated by the Holy One, and they set their grace on you, Lord. Our children are 